SpaceX shifted gears this morning after delaying the Polaris Dawn launch again due to weather issues. Meanwhile, it pressed ahead with plans for back-to-back -back launches of Starlink Internet satellites, one from Florida, the other from California. But there were some issues in Florida after the first stage of the Falcon 9 actually toppled over after landing at sea. Joining me now for more on this is CBS News senior national correspondent Mark Strassman. Of course, Mark, when we say at sea, it's landing on essentially a floating barge, right? What happened? Well, launch went off just perfectly. They were launching these uh, Starlink uh, uh, Internet uh, satellites. So launch goes off perfectly. As you know, SpaceX uniquely, and this is a game changer, uh, recovers its booster stage, uh, generally by landing it on a recovery ship uh, out in the Atlantic. In this case, it comes down, uh, nose up just the way it's supposed to, and then just as it lands, it, it topples over. Not clear whether it toppled over into the Atlantic or not because the the, the the video feed from SpaceX cut off at that point, but it, clearly something went wrong. Now, that said, uh, SpaceX would still consider this to be a success for a couple of reasons. One, the Starlink satellites were successfully launched into orbit. And two, this was the 23rd time that SpaceX had used this uh, booster stage, uh, so they really got their money's worth out of it. Yeah, certainly still a successful program pushing the envelope here of innovation. Let's talk about Polaris Dawn. No question. What's happening there? Do we know when it will go? Don't know when it's going to go. The issue with the launch actually has to do with the potential splashdown in five or six days after the launch. They need the weather in the Atlantic or the Gulf to be calm enough for a splashdown to happen. And right now, the forecast does not look good. So they're essentially waiting for the weather to clear. Out on the pad, it's, it's just fine. But, uh, but out in the Atlantic and in the Gulf, they just, again, they, they need the seas to be just a little bit calmer so that the splashdown will have every chance of success. The earliest it could happen, the, 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 the new window would open uh, on Friday. Not clear if that's, that's too soon. The forecast apparently doesn't look great uh, from here. Um, but they're hoping to get it off at some point uh, over Labor Day weekend. You've been talking about it since Monday. Um, but just in case somebody hasn't been watching CBS News 24-7 every day, I don't know why someone wouldn't be doing that. But can you please explain to us the significance of this mission? Sure. Um, it's, the, it's an all-civilian crew. It's, they're going to have the first ever all-civilian commercial spacewalk. Uh, the reason they are doing uh, the spacewalk is to test these new redesigned space suits that SpaceX has engineered over the last few years. Um, the space suits are necessary because, uh, you know, SpaceX has this, uh, this grand vision for uh, interplanetary colonization or at least interplanetary uh, travel, and they will need you know, hundreds if not thousands of these spacesuits to be fully functioning in order to do that. This is a baby step in that direction, but a significant step and a potentially risky step as well. So there could be some high drama. And Lisa, this is interesting. When, when they do do it, uh, SpaceX, is, SpaceX is going to live stream the moment so everybody can watch. Sounds up our alley, Mark. Thanks so much.